Sons and daughters of God, the remnant, chosen the elect. You see, God, you knew God before um, you were placed here. You did. You just don't remember. And that's part of his plan. Because if you remembered, then um, you would probably know uh, what the future is. And you definitely know your, your destiny. And so we're challenged. We are challenged with, um, with our individual lives. We're, trialed with, with, we're challenged with trials and tests. And why are we tri uh, challenged like that? With trials and tests and hard times? It's because he's training us. Training us to rule the universe for them one of these days. And we have to go through tests, go through trials. Just such as um, grade school or high school, college. You know, there's tests every week. Every so often there's pop quizzes. And then you, uh, if you pass the test, sometimes the teachers will let you take them over. They call them retakes. So, the good thing about God is he'll let us retake the test, you know, numerous times until we get it right. And uh, keep that in mind next time you go through a trial or a test and you don't think you did so good. You know, think about what you could have done differently because uh, you probably will be taking that test again and then you can pass it. And then that, that means you won't have to, you pass the test, you don't have to take it over again. But uh, you will have to take some more tests. So, and that's a good thing because uh, that's what, that's what make great kings and queens and rulers. You see, we'll be taking the place of, uh, of the fallen angels. You see, because they they are or were, should I say, kings, queens, and rulers. Now they're kings, queens, and rulers uh, in the in the air at this moment. But um, they will never be kings, queens, and rulers uh, for all eternity. They have a place that they're going, um, a permanent place, and it's not a very good place. So we will be taking their places as the sons and daughters of God. We will be ambassadors throughout the universe. You see, you ever look at the the night when it's clear and you see all the stars? Those are just a, a, a just a drop in the bucket to of God's creation. There's trillions and trillions and trillions of stars, planets, universes out there, without end. And um, wherever you go in this universe. In eternity, you will be representing the Most High God, the Creator, your Father. You will be His son or His daughter, and you are royalty. Now you're in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. It says, clearly, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew you. And before thou came forth out of thy mother's womb, I sanctified you, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Now, we may not be prophets, and that's okay. But you can see, you see, he was talking to Jeremiah at this time. This is Jesus in the Old Testament talking before he got crucified on the cross. He doesn't have any time restraints. He can go back and forth in time, you know. So, um, you may not be a prophet, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. You have a job in the future. And uh, you, so you know God and God knows you. And um, just pass your test. So, but getting to the point where you trust and believe in God for every single situation in your life is uh, where we want to be, where we want to get to. Because if things are getting crazy in the world, they're, they're, things are happening much faster. If, I'm older, you know, I'm in my 50s. You know, I'll be 60 soon and stuff, you know. 
one of these, you know, next three, four years or something like that. So I can tell that things are escalating and going faster and things are crazier than they were, um, you know, 20 years ago, 30, 40 years ago, 50 years ago. Things were slower. Life wasn't so crazy. It wasn't so hectic. But any young people, you guys don't know how times have changed and how, how uh, you guys think that all this stuff has always been happening. It has not always been happening. There's too much happening right now. It's just so much. It's normal to you guys, but uh, for for us older people, it's not normal for us. It's crazy, and it's just getting more and more crazier faster than than anything. So I'm just letting you guys know it didn't used to be like this, and uh, the world is on a self self destruct d- destruction uh, path because um, the enemy, the devil, is. Uh, he's running out of time. The time's time's just about up for him. You know, I don't know their how how their time works, but they, they know how our time works. And to them, they only have a few minutes left. To us, we got uh, ten years, eleven years. You know, maybe fifteen, maybe. But to the enemy, he only has a few seconds left to to destroy the earth. And he, trust me, he would have destroyed us this earth a long time ago if he could have. You know, and, and, and every Christian, um, too, and anybody who even thought about becoming a Christian, he killed us all. So, you know, press into the Lord. I want to encourage you guys to press into the Lord every day, a little bit more. You know, if you if you have the gift of tongues, use it. It's a mighty, mighty, mighty weapon, forceful, full of power. It's the Lord Jesus Christ speaking. Using you as a vessel to speak. You can do it while you're driving. You can do it while you're working. You can change your life. You can change your family's life. You can change somebody's life on the other side of the world by speaking in tongues. So take five minutes then one day and then the next day add five minutes to it. Get up to an hour You know, each day. You know, Turn off the radio in your car if you're driving to work. No music, no nothing, just speaking in tongues, you know, and uh, create a force field around you, a fortress, the wings of God covering you. And then you're sending angels to work and you could be sending hundreds, maybe even thousands. It could be hundreds of thousands of angels to uh, to do different things for you, your family and other people on on the other side of the world, your country, you know. So allow the Lord to use you as a a vessel of prayer by speaking in tongues and let him that to me, it's a, it's a wonderful gift to have, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful um, opportunity and it's a, it's an honor that he would, you know, select me to have that gift, to be able to do that, to be able to change so many different things uh, on earth, you know, even though I don't know what they are, it doesn't really matter. You know, it's just, it's part of the reason why uh, you have that gift in the first place. And watch your watch your life change. You know, you might even look over one day and see see the Lord Jesus Christ sitting next to you. You know, and uh, some it's happened before and it's still happening today. You know, many people. There's people across the world right now that are having a, that are looking right at him. He's in the same room with them, and they can see him, and they're having a conversation with him. Yeah. Thousands of people across the world right now are doing that because they pressed into the Lord and they trust God. They're totally sold out to God. And it's part it's part of their destiny also, too. That's not everybody's destiny. It's not going to happen to everybody. But um, waiting on the Lord is, is a good thing also, too. You know? And I mean, just turning everything off, closing your door, do not disturb, and just waiting on him, reading the Bible while you're doing it. Uh, praising him, worshiping him while you while you're waiting on him, that's a, that's another good thing. It's another good way, and because you will fulfill your destiny. And if you're supposed to see the Lord, you know, and have a conversation with him, you know, many different conversations, hundreds. Of, I, there's people I know people that have done that. They see him every single day, and he just pops up. You know, he's I mean he's there, and they'll he, the Lord will send angels to him. 
and say, okay, I need you to be ready. The angel will say, I need you, you, you need to be ready at 9 a.m. And then, um, um, then 9 a.m., they're whisked off someplace by, the, by that angel or the Lord. And they're either in heaven, hell, paradise, someplace, going to the most high place, doing different missions for God on earth and stuff like that. You know, that could be your uh, destiny, you know. But um, it's all about how hard we press into to the Lord, you know. It's, um, so, you will fulfill your destiny. This is Psalm 71, verses 1 through 5. And um, subscribe to the channel, guys, if you haven't already subscribed. And uh, give a thumbs up. It's called Thumbs Up Ministry. And uh, if you don't feel like you're doing enough for the Lord, you know, give just definitely give the put press that thumb. And maybe somebody on the other side of the world will see the video and um, learn how to pray and read out of the Bible. And that, that's a that's a good ministry for people. It's thumbs up. You can change other another person's life. And if you want to give your life to the Lord or you have a friend or something that might be interested, there's a prayer in the description area. Also, too, there's lots of videos and a uh, playlist in the description area that you can listen to also, too. You know, those playlists are on this channel. And uh, they teach you about the Antichrist, the New World Order, the One World Government, the One World Religion, the One World Church, the World Council of Churches, the False Prophet, the World Bank to cash the society, the Mark of the Beast, World War Three, the Tribulation, the Rapture, the One World Court System, the Two Witnesses, the One World Economy, the One World Military Force, the Economic Collapse, and much, much more. Ready? Mm -hmm. this, in Thee, O oh Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in righteousness and cause me not and incline my ear unto me, and save me. Be thou my strong habitation, whereunto I may continually resort. Thou hast given me commandment to save me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O oh my Lord, God, out of the hands of the wicked, out of the hands of the unrighteous and cruel man. For thou art my hope, O Lord God, thou art my trust and my youth. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for dying on the cross for us, each and every one of us, individually. Lord, we love you very much. And Father, we thank you for forgiving us of every sin that we've ever committed in our lives, and wiping our slates clean, and seeing us as holy sons and daughters, dressed in white, and forgetting about all the wrong that we've ever done. Thank you very much. In thee, O oh Lord, do I put my trust in Lord. Each and every one of us want to trust you more and more every minute. That's our goal, to trust you and believe in you for everything, every single thing from now on. Lord, let us never be put into confusion. Well, we bind confusion right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We bind it, destroy it. We, ca we cage it and we chain it. We chain it up, cage them all, cage every unclean spirit of confusion in Jesus' name, Lord. We want to think straight. We want to be straight. We set that cage at your feet, Lord Jesus, and ask warrior angels to arrest confusion and all of its uh, helpers in Jesus' name. It's in the far away from us. Let them never come near us. Father, in Deuteronomy 33, you said, I will thrust out the enemy from before thee and say, destroy them. Lord, you have our permission to destroy every last one of them. In Jesus' name, Lord, deliver us. Deliver me. In your righteousness, we just want to do everything your way, Lord. Teach us your way. Deliver us in your righteousness and cause us, cause us to escape um, to incline our ears unto you. Save us, Father, and keep us, Lord Jesus. We want to escape the, 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 uh, the reach of the enemy, Lord Jesus, and we thank you for that. 
And we want to be able to hear what you're saying when you say it. And show us how to be able to wait and patiently, Lord, so, so that we can um, be expecting, um, you know, an answer to all the many prayers that we're sending to you. And help us to keep praying to you, Lord, so that the more that we pray, um, the more answers that we'll get also too. Lord, be, thou, be our strong habit. Lord, we want you to be our habit. We have all kinds of habits, Lord Jesus, but we want you to be our number one habit continually. Wherefore, that I may continually resort. Thou hast given, given commandment to save me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. And Lord, you are our rock. We're standing on you, looking down, Lord Jesus, at everything that is below us, which is our enemies, because our enemies tread under, we tread on our enemies, Lord Jesus. They're under our feet and far from us. And let them stay that way, Lord Jesus, while you are, you wrap your wings around us and be our fortress. Because we're your little chicks, your little birds, your little eaglets. And you are the chief eagle, eagle Lord. So protect us, Lord Jesus. And set up, thank you for setting us on high, Lord Jesus. Deliver me. Do people want to be delivered? Each and every one of us have something that we want to be delivered from so that we can be more like you and can gain more of your trust and gain more of your power. And help each and every person to be able to do that, Lord. Oh, my God. Our, of our hand, thank you for delivering us out of the hands of the wicked and out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. Lord Jesus, we want to have no parts of any of those guys. We want to walk righteously, rot righteously, and we don't want to be cruel to others. Lord Jesus, we rebuke wickedness. We rebuke unrighteousness, Lord Jesus. And we, we rebuke and bind cruelty, Lord Jesus. We place them in cages, and we, and we ask warrior angels to arrest them all. And if any of these things are inside of us, Lord, remove them, please. Each and every from each and every one of us, so that we can have peace and be kind to others and be righteous to others and be polite to others, Lord Jesus, and understanding and show love toward others and forgiveness to others. Because you are our hope, Father. We hope in you, Lord God. Thou art my trust is from my youth. And Lord, there's a lot of hungry people across the earth today. Lord, feed them all, please. Give shelter every, to everyone that needs today and fresh water also too. Once you start doing these things, Lord, for these people, for the people that need it, never stop. Let every individual in this world know that you love them very, very, very much. Save every soul. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh. And once you save them, keep them all. Keep everyone saved once they become saved. Lead and guide us all, Lord Jesus. Bless our countries, our nations, our leaders, Lord Jesus. Have your perfect way across the world today and in our counties and in our cities and in our states, which is our provinces, Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we honor you, praise you, and give you all the glory forever and ever. Amen. So it's a thumbs up ministry. Go ahead and give a thumb up and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like. And have a great day in Jesus' name.